And the clothing company was actually an underwear company. It's on to the pole. But before breaking camp, Peter has a sponsorship obligation. Yeah! Right, back to two inch. A bit more. Yeah, that's perfect. Two thousand kilometres sailing to the South Magnetic Pole. Six hundred kilometres walking to the North Magnetic Pole. Mitch Dowd boxer shorts. Nothing should hold you back. <laughs> you like that? You know the cameraman asked me to, fil to uh, film it again. I won't tell you what I said to him. <laughs> now the next day we got there. We got to the North Magnetic Pole. And you know that we couldn't carry sugar on that expedition. Sugar's heavy and it gives you energy. But there is no amount of sugar I could have carried on that sled, an 86 kilo sled. There's no amount of sugar I could have carried on that sled that could have given me the energy that I got from the one thing that I carried. And the one thing that I carried in that sled that gave me all the energy I needed to make sure that I wasn't first, but I wasn't last, I was there. And all that was was an image, a symbol of this great country, the Australian flag. And a kid from the bush with a scar and a dream that wouldn't go away despite health, despite finances, despite political pressure, despite family pressure, a dream that wouldn't go away, became the first Australian to the North Angle Pole in 1998, and he raised $2 million for the National Heart Foundation in the process. I am passionate about what I teach. I'm passionate about what I do. I'm out of time. That's my teaser. That's my talk. I've got lined up right here 10 minutes of footage and photos about what I'm doing next. Now, Jamie and I are taking five or six of you, Mojo people, hands up, to Antarctica already. Uh, Louis, uh, Louis your sh darling, your shirt sit. I gave it to Jolly. You got it. <laughs> and Robbie's coming. You know, Jamie and I are taking a tour to Antarctica on the 14th of February. 14th of February? <laughs> and then we're taking, we're taking um, 20 people uh, on this unbelievable trip uh, to Africa in September. Now, but I'm out of time, Jolly, and as a speaker, you can be good, you can be bad, but always be on time. So I'm done, man. I'm done. Right? I'm queued up, good to go. So the question is this. Isn't that right, Jolly? Everyone's to go. If you want to go, go. Seriously. Seriously, little, little in-room break. I'm about to spend 10 minutes going through some footage of what's happening in Africa. Okay? Um, and how you are given this $5,000 trading program for free uh, that will fund the trip. I didn't have that when I was in hospital. I raised, I raised the uh, £10,000. You're getting a $5,000 trading program to make the money to get there, but I don't care about you getting there. That's nothing compared to what I want you to do. If that's all you're thinking about, then don't come on my trip. You with me? Why am I saying that? I want you to raise money for this school outside of Ushra, which means dusty place, in the base of Kilimanjaro, this beautiful program that Maasai Wanderings are doing. It's incredible, and I'll show you all about it. So you want to stay here and hear about it? Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> you said it. Okay, so what happened out of this was I came out of here, and, um, yeah, raised the polygon chick gets heart disease. The, oh, yeah, look at that. This is my point. I didn't go out there to make a book, a doc, to be an Australian story and have a best-selling biography. That was not my purpose. Go and be you and let the rest of the world merchandise around you. That's their concern. Yeah? Just be you and let them follow. So again, remembering that all these stories I just told you were being told to me by my friend, my doctor friend Andrew, Reminding me about when I used to have my Joe. And the question to you is, have you ever thought of a time in your time, in your life, where you've lost your mojo? And now I think you know that you're curious about where it is and you want to get it back. And the recipe for results is the same as making settler shortbread. You know, as I said, normal cycle, on the normal cycle. <laughs> Flour, sugar and butter. 
And that's the formula time and time again. So I found the formula works. So what I did is I thought I'd do, well, if I'm going to be me and what I'm really passionate about, I want to teach fathers and sons to have a really good connection. I'm going to take them out of their, their domestic home front away from mummy and I'm going to teach them to be men a rite of passage through manhood. So I took 14-year-old boys out into the wilderness with their father, to rite of passage. And then I took that same formula to the corporate market and they loved it too. And the next thing you know, I'm getting I'm, I mean, every major bank, every no, major insurance company in Australia, they're all loving it. And the next thing you know, I'm lecturing at Victoria University at the Bachelor, Bachelor of, uh, Master of Finance program and the MBA program. I didn't go out there to do this stuff. I was just being me. But then they decided to merchandise around what I was doing. And this is not my story. This is your story. This is about what 2010 looks like for you, just being you. So I went and wrote a program, bring it all together. And I won't go through it in great details because we can talk tomorrow, come and see uh, myself and, and, and those people with these t-shirts tomorrow, they know all about it because we've been working through it, haven't we, in our webinars? We build networks, don't we? Hang out with these guys on the phone, it's like, night Jolly, night Johnny boy. This goes on for half an hour, it's like I'm paying the bill, you hang up. Anyway... <laughs> Um, we have a webinar every second week. Okay, there's a whole lot of all over Australia and New Zealand. It's really cool. Okay, this is my program. I'm passionate about it. This is the whole Compass program encompassed, encompassed, compass. Um, the Lucky Life Formula. The reason I call it the Lucky Life Formula is I was sick of everybody telling me how lucky I was. They thought I looked at my life and thought it's so lucky. There's no luck in it. It's just a formula, and a formula works. You apply it again and again and again. So you get that. Okay, you get that. So I took that, oh, he's a little, little expert from him, just quickly. It's about you reading your body. If at least we get you to slow down and actually say it out loud, then that slows the process down already. And then one stage beyond that is to actually write it down, because we write slower than we speak, and we speak slower than we think. So write it down. Write down this perfect world, what it looks like, what it smells like, who you're with, who you're being. So that's the program. It goes through its interactive uh, CD, DVD, uh, it's all online program with a workbook program and we, we speak every two weeks on the, on the webinar. And that's all part of the coaching program that you'll get with Africa as well next year. So the network, the friendship starts now. Okay. That became a whole mentoring program, one-on-one -on -one mentoring program. I've got many, many mentors. I won't go through that now. Um, um, other than I want to just show you, uh, I'll show you George just quickly, one little example. I mean, any one of them you could, you could see. Uh, look, it's, it's really, obviously he says I'm good, right? That's, that's not the point. This is the point. Um, he sends me this photo, right? He hears I'm boxing. I, I fought heavyweight at Coburg Town Hall uh, last, year, uh, last year before. Anyway, and, then, and he goes, oh, yeah, I used to do a bit of karate. And here's old, night, lovely George, you know, 63, just doing his job and all the rest of it. You know, I used to do a bit of karate. And, I go, and he sends me this photo and he goes, yeah, well, I just did a, I just jumped ten people and did a, a triple um, cat roll and a flying kick, and I'm a, I'm a triple black tip Dan Taekwondo. And I said, George, get that photo right now. I mean, right now, and put it in your foyer and put these words, these words beneath it. My greatness is ahead of me. My greatness is ahead of me. See, how often in life do we think that our greatness is behind us and we justify our existence today by being captain of the under-14 netball club or the under-15 soccer club? That our greatness is ahead of us. And the greatness I'm taking you to is this. In fact, here's what happened last week at my farm, two weeks ago at my farm. We ran this Mojo boot camp with my friend Melissa and some, some of you, you people were here. Here are my ho the, the um, polo cross ponies in the background. This is... This is Who's done, who's done much work on um, getting rid of past emotional pains? Anybody done uh, rebirthing? Um, a landmark, Hoffman process, Tony Robbins, you know, this is walking on fire. It's all of this on steroids, okay? On steroids, all right? You're getting, it, you're getting it included with your trip to Africa anyway, but just to show you some photos from last week, literally. And here we are setting up camp. Um, that's, that's the fire there where we um, literally, um, um, you know, dinner that night. It's a whole interactive, intense two and a half day program where you get dragged out of your tent at dawn and you get taken on the most deepest meditate you've ever contemplated, which you haven't even contemplated, and you get rid of every bit of baggage that's holding you back and we smash it. And you come out of that and just chanting and meditating at dawn and you come out of that and you roll right, right over and then, and then I'm just going really quickly and then we get rid of that and then we dive into the water and then we swim free and when we come that night as a superhero and we step into our zone as a superhero and we talk to it as a superhero and we act like superheroes. 
Who was, who was I? Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's bells. It was fun. This is literally two weeks ago. Um, so this is about people being great, allowing themselves to be great, um, because they get rid of their past pain. Because the past pain is the only thing that sits between you now and your future. So this formula about allowing yourself to take on worthy tasks is really a story about this. If fear sits here, and this is the past, and this is the now, and this is the future, and we build a beautiful... You did your vision boards this morning? The vision board sits here, okay? And you sit here. But unless we get rid of these fears, which stands for... Well, there's a few different ways of saying it, but you want to get past it whilst you dissemble it. I dissemble it. We smash it and get rid of it, and you step freely into your future, okay? And here are people declaring the future, going over, abseiling at, at uh, Camel's Hump in Mount Macedon, and as they go over the edge there, declaring what their future looks like. Be curious about your own possibilities and allow yourself to step into that possibility. And then become that person. At the end of the day, if I was you, I'd be you. That's his time. <laughs>